Hello everyone, it's Roxy. Uh, it's been some time, but welcome back everyone. Uh, today I'm making a video to teach you all how to make uh, some good quality or some notes montage video. So we're gonna go through the basic of uh, selecting your clips uh, using the watch section uh, option of uh, awesome notes. Uh, grab the clip in a good uh, way, so good quality, good camera angle, uh, nice to see. And uh, then once we have enough clip, I will just move on to montage and do a quick compilation of them with music and shit. So uh, you have a pretty clear understanding of how I used to do my video back in the day. Hopefully this is this will help uh, whoever is interested at uh, making better quality video, short montage, funny clips, and just a better quality than uh, that what we can find on Reddit right now, or uh, or just people that don't really know or care about making it. So hopefully it's a good tool for everyone. Uh, let's jump into it. So I'm going to use the games I did last night in order to uh, grab some clips. So the best tools you can have is that whenever you're playing, uh, you're just going to press 1 in the chat when you do a good action. So if you get a triple kill, if you get a, ne in a crazy escape, if you kill your teammates and you think it's funny, worth like posting online, uh, then just press 1 in the chat. And uh, whenever you go back to the replay, you search for those 1, go back to the action, locate the action, and then decide what camera angle you want. Uh, there's basically two camera angles that are possible, either a moving camera, like the one we see right now, where we follow frog, or like your character, or a fixed camera that will just uh, don't move and we have the whole action within one screen. Uh, usually I uh, use both, it really depends on the situation. Uh, if the action is really going from right to left, there's a lot of time, a lot of things going on, just follow one character. Uh, if however it's in a it's really short, it's in a close area, then uh, you can go for a lock camera. Uh, we're going to see example of both uh, pretty soon. So, then let's say that you've located your clips, that's the clip we want. So we're going to go back to the beginning of the clip, and uh, from the beginning we're just going to export it. So to do so, we're going to go to the export panel. So to export, you go to the third button on the top left, export replay. Uh, you're going to choose current character, as we discussed, it is a position or character that we really want to focus on. Here it's going to be character. Uh, then starting time, you want the current time, not the beginning, except if you're going to take the full game, uh, in case like you didn't stream, for example. Uh, and specific time is just pointless. So current time, then you want the end time, simply because uh, specific time and specific duration are pointless, since you can just press escape to stop whenever you decide. Uh, so again, just uh, put end, it's uh, the best way. Uh, then 60 FPS, uh, whatever resolution you have, and then you have different encoder. So basically they all bring different uh, where. Some of them you need to download some plugins, some you don't, some of them will be a uh, better quality or less. And what's important is that they will have different files uh, configuration. So some would be uh, MP4 and some other would be movie clip. So I usually go for recommended and uh, then it will just back window. It's okay, it's fine. And that's it. Then we move on. And now, uh, obviously, so show minimap and chat. It's uh, only important if it's actually relevant. So if you're going to zoom in, if you want to make a point or a statement. Uh, top bar, uh, if it's a full game you want to record, keep it. If it's uh, for a montage, uh, take it off because it just gets messy uh, with the flow, especially if someone jump. Uh, gameplay message, uh, you don't really want that, uh, except if you want to show that there's a lot of messages, but usually it just gets crowdy. Uh, but item you don't want, kill dog, it's going to depend on how much HP you have left and if it's actually relevant. Uh, no music, no sound, because uh, then it's a mess to just delay it uh, when you make the uh, editing. All right, and then you just have to export. Uh, so it, always, all, it will automatically back windows, you wait for the clip, uh, it should be way more faster if you have a good computer. Mine is just getting older. Uh, so you know exactly what are you getting. That's a good thing too. You get the clip and whenever you're satisfied, satisfied you press escape to leave. So it back windows. You go back to the game and then you're gonna get the files where your clip is. So you press yes. And uh, it locates that directly in the Steam files. So here you have your clips. And uh, in the same area, you can have access to all of your replay. So if you decide to uh, delete every single replay, uh, that's where you should do it. Also, uh, I will encourage you to rename your files because it can get pretty messy uh, if you don't. 
So yeah, uh, replay encoder is where you get your clips. Replay is like all the replay. So obviously you can, like I say, save some space uh, if you want. Uh, you probably have more than two or three gig of this replay waiting to be deleted. Uh, so you could go back to uh, Awesome Notes and then we search for the next one. Uh, so the next one is here. You locate it, you go back, you see the action. Uh, you decide uh, what camera angle you want. So here it's probably going to be a fixed one just because it's so like easy. Uh, if you get a, something that moves, it will just like shake the screen in a weird way. You don't want that. You want to have a fixed camera so everyone can follow. See, that's like how it would check. And uh, you just export, you change the, the configuration to camera, a fixed camera, and you export. And you're going to keep going back and forwards doing that for a long time. And so we go back and forwards doing that. Uh, I analyze every game, I just go back and forwards to see if there's a one in the chat. Uh, there's usually one when it's an interesting game, if it's just a stupid uh, DC, stupid pre-made, uh, something stupid like a rocket, whatever it is. Uh, there's usually no one and one and also I play clone so there's uh, very few right now So whatever you just take all those clips uh, you do the same process over and over again uh, Usually take like half an hour to get enough to make a montage if you uh, if you just keep pressing one And then you can just delete all of the replay if you're never gonna use them again. That's uh, up to you All right now that we have all our clips we want to do a montage So first of all it's important to know that uh, you need to watch the f the type of files that you're gonna have those clips on uh, because I choose the fourth encoder, it's going to be MP4 videos. But let's say I choose the first encoder, which is optimal. Uh, it's going to be uh, a movie clip uh, type of files. So based on that, some uh, montage software uh, accept them or not. So if you need to change, uh, I usually use a free MP4 video converter uh, to, to, to change them to MP4 so I can use them. Uh, for the editing montage, uh, software montage, uh, there's many, just google it. Uh, I used to use Movie Maker for so long because it was super easy uh, to use um, and I couldn't be bothered at the beginning. And then I moved on to Sony Pro Vegas to do some more uh, edited video. Uh, I'm not going to use Movie Vegas today because it's a pain in the ass to explain. It's harder and uh, it doesn't run uh, really smoothly on my computer if I have OBS and also not on. So I'm just going to stick on to what I used to do back in the day. Hopefully uh, I can do it uh, fast and efficiently. So let's take uh, all those clips and put them here. Uh, so we have around 3 minutes of clips. However, uh, most of them are double. So I'm going to have to cut them all the way down to 1.30, probably 2 minutes. And uh, that seems like a good timing. Uh, so my computer is pretty slow, so it's going to take times. Um, also, it's blurry here, but it's good quality when you export it. It's just so it's run, uh, it runs better on the on the software. Uh, I guess we can just straight up start. All right, now that we have all our clips, uh, let's. I'm going to fast forward the whole process and explain step by step in a faster way. So right now we want to shorten every clip. So basically we want to cut the beginning and the end that is irrelevant and has no action. We do that, so I do that, so it's smoother to see and you don't like waste time saying something pointless. Here, however, I start the clip where there's nothing, so I'm sure that everyone knows that my character has to be followed and not the others. So it's like easier for the for anyone to just uh, get a good flow of the video. So obviously picking up uh, if I uh, need one or another, I just um, I usually decide just based on how it looks, what I could possibly make out of it, and uh, if it's actually funny or not. So I cut every time the beginning and the end because no one cares, and then I'm, I'm going to fast forward some parts, uh, basically making like the scarlet of uh, the, the montage, so just selecting the clips. Uh, let's just move forward even faster, I guess. All right, I just straight up cut it because uh, uh, you will have some surprise. Uh, so then we move forward to, uh, if you want, I'm talking about YouTube right now, but uh, a thumbnails and an ending. So the ending is just pretty easy. It's like uh, whatever everyone has on YouTube to say, like, subscribe, go to see another video. So I used to have like a template that I will follow and just modify uh, directly. Uh, I encourage you to do the same. Like you can say it's pretty easy just to keep the same uh, using the same and then uh, once that is added make sure to make 
to make it at the end and we want a thumbnails. So thumbnails are like pretty easy, just Google how to make them. Basically you take a photo from whatever you want. I usually take an awesome related topic. I had like one big character, some writing using the font that awesome that has. Uh, I write down whatever is relevant. I had a couple of stuff from the here and there. And that's it. Then I save it in the right files and you can just um, use it for your video. Alright, so we have the beginning, we have the clips in the middle, they are like in the right order. We don't want five of Ulip and then five of Froggy. We want a mix of everything, we want it to work smoothly uh, in order to be entertaining. So now we can move on to all the effect, anything you want to do. So sadly that's all for doesn't allow me to do much. So I just did the writing that I usually do, some uh, double speed, some slow speed, some arrow, some uh, storytelling. But I cannot do much. Uh, if you could, you should obviously try to zoom in in the right moment. Try to uh, have some arrow, do something funny. We have so many things to edit so that uh, it's not hard. One, the one thing is that um, if you're going to write, be sure that we can actually read it. So add some black if it's white. Make a contrast with the colors. And uh, make it so like it's easy to read straight up in the first place. All right, so then, then we have that, we can move on to music. So for the music, you have many places to search. Obviously on YouTube, you can find some uh, non-copyrighted music. Uh, you can use uh, Ronimo's soundtrack. It's a uh, free uh, copyrighted too. Uh, here, I'm gonna use Clunk. Uh, so I don't know exactly how to get to the clown soundtrack. Uh, so I just take it from YouTube, but I bought the soundtrack pack. Uh, I know you can do it, I asked uh, Ronimo before. Uh, so don't worry about that. Uh, and so you had it. See, here we go. I'm going to, I think, right now, yeah, I'm going to the DLC. I have it. And I just, I guess it's just somewhere in my computer. Uh, so Clunk is fun. The video works well. The music is not too loud. But it's too short. So I am going to add just uh, something I already have, which is the Skaldir uh, theme. You do the review. You check that everything is fine. How you happy with how it is. And if it is, you can just move forward, like which is basically uh, exporting it in the whatever format you want. Uh, once you have that, oh, great guy, McKinnon. And that is it. You just have to export, and then you can upload it on any uh, social media you want. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. It's obviously my personal opinion. Feel free to disagree in the comment section. I'll give you better tips. Uh, I just find that uh, that way of exporting clips uh, is way better if you want to... Uh, show or comment a full game, a clip, a gift, whatever it is. Uh, it's just, it, it's more professional. No, not even, it's just nicer. Whatever. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Following up is the one that we just made with the music and everything. And uh, yeah, if you want to know more of uh, those kind of things, tell me. Uh, obviously, I edited a shit ton because it was just uh, two hours long at the beginning. Uh, that being said, if you want to have the full on-cut stream of me doing it, I uh, will gladly uh, post it. But if not, I will just uh, stick with the, that version. Thanks for watching and see you all uh, in 2018, I'm guessing. Goodbye.
Putain Fais, fais chier 